channel it's Jules here so first off if you hear any lawnmowers or birds it's because my windows are open um, I like fresh air so that's why they're open so uh, my apologies if you hear the birds and like lawnmowers or whatever in the background but anyways so let's get to this tutorial so I just wanted to do a really nice smoky midnight blue like I look for you and I added like a nice pink lip I wish I did something more nude rather than pink but it's okay um, I still like it it still like looks good all together um, I will list everything down below don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that thumbs up to give this video a like and also just leave a comment down below and let me know what you think of this tutorial um, and then also leave a comment and let me know what else you would love to see I think I'm gonna start vlogging um, here and there I'm gonna do like a vlog like of the whole week so I'm gonna vlog every couple days like during the week um, my life isn't that exciting <laughs> Uh, maybe to others it will be who knows because I think people like to vlogs because personally me I love watching vlogs um, so I think I want to get a little personal on my channel you know I just don't want it to be all about beauty which I love makeup and I'm it's like my passion but I also kind of want to show you me show you me <laughs> yeah so but yeah so that's it so again I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I will see you all soon bye everyone to start off I used my Mario Badesco skincare moisturizer with collagen and it has SPF 15 I just put that in between my fingers and kind of massaged it onto my skin I then went in with my Tarte Brighter Days Moisturizer just to give my skin a little bit of an extra glow because you all know I love my glowy skin and also just to moisturize it a little bit more. As a primer I went in with my Max, MAC Fix Plus um, in pink light. Um, this is one of their new Fix Pluses. They mix it with like strobe cream which is really cool. Um, so this is also giving me that extra glow. And then after that, I went in with my Pro Conceal by LA Girl um, Peach Corrector just to correct my under eye circles um, because I do have some bags under my eyes. After blending that out, I went in with my Fenty Beauty Foundation in the number 290. Um, it was a little bit dark for me, even though I still had my self tanner on, um, but once I blended my concealer on, it blended out really nicely. Um, so just make sure if you are using a color that is darker than the rest of your body, like your neck or your chest, just make sure to blend it down to your neck um, so it's all even. I then went in with my LA Girl Pro Concealer um, again in porcelain and then I just put this under my eyes, the bridge of my nose, um, in the middle of my forehead, my cupid's bow, and then my chin, and then also underneath where you would contour. Um, this I just did that just because foundation was dark so I just wanted it to blend nicely and kind of match my skin um, so I just blended that out with a beauty blender and then I also took my makeup revolution concealer in C4 and I just repeated those same steps just to add a little bit more brightness under my eyes and then this one also has more of a pinky tone um, so more of a pinky tone concealer is going to correct your under eye circles as well Give. 
After going in with my concealer, I of course took my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder and I just set my under eyes with that to bake. Um, I like doing this because it holds the concealer in place all day long um, so it doesn't move and it also smooths it out really nicely. I then went in with my Aveda Loose Mineral Powder in Translucent and then I used my little puff from Laura Mercier um, and then I just set my whole face with this. I like using this because it really just sets my whole foundation um, so it doesn't turn out sticky throughout the day. Um, it just really sets it real nicely and covers it. For my bronzer, I went in with the Chocolate Soil Bronzer and Contouring Shade from Too Faced. Um, this is one of my favorite bronzers to contour with and also bronze my face with. Um, and I'm just using my Morphe like bronzer blush brush to blend it out. So I just put that in the hollows of my cheek, my forehead, uh, my nose, and then also below my lip just to enhance my lower lip a little bit more. After my bronzer, I went in with my blush from Bare Minerals called the Faux Pas and then I just used another Morphe brush and then applied this to my cheeks. I did apply a little bit too much but then I went and blended it out with the um, bronzer brush just to blend that out a little bit so it didn't look so harsh or look so flushed. <laughs> And I, of course, took my Anastasia Beverly Hills collab with Amrezy Highlighter. I have been loving this. It's just like the perfect, like, light bronze color. Um, I feel like it would go nice with every skin tone. I feel like it would go nice also with, like, a darker skin tone just because it has those gold undertones in it. Um, but yeah, so I just apply that to the upper part of my cheekbones, my forehead, the bridge of my nose, and my cupid's bow. After I do my highlighter, I usually go in and do my brows before I do my eyeshadow. Um, I'm just using the NYX Eyebrow Pencil in Taupe. I love this. I've been using it forever. And it's like a dupe from the Anastasia one as well. Before I put on my eyeshadow, I just went and put on my concealer from Makeup Revolution um, just as a base and then I just blended that out with my beauty blender and then I set that so it wouldn't move um, with the Laura Mercier powder. It's a good reason For my transition color, I went in with my Too Faced Chocolate Soil Bronzer. I just used a Morphe Fluffy Blending Crease Brush. Um, I like using the bronzer as a transition color because it's a nice neutral color to work with um, and it blends out nicely. So I just applied that in my crease and then my outer corner. So I took this Rockstar um, eyeshadow palette from Models Own and I took that light gray color called Hyper and then just put that on my outer corner and then in my inner corner and then also blended that into my crease so it kind of made almost like a halo eye with this. Um, I just left the middle part of my eyelid light um, so I would put so the color I put on my eyelid would be bright. So on my outer corner and then in my inner corner as well, I put on the color Awesome. It was one of the darker gray colors out of the palette. Um, I also blended this into my crease to make that halo eye again and just leaving out the middle part of my lid. And then um, I just kept blending these colors out. They weren't very blendable. They didn't blend really nicely. Um, they just weren't as soft. 
Um, the pigment's really good, but they didn't blend that great for some reason. So hopefully when I use this again, um, I'll try to find a better way to like blend them out. So on my lid, I took that kind of teal blue color called Party Hard, and I used the brush out of the um, palette, and I just packed that on to the lighter part of the lid where I didn't put any of those um, crease colors. Um, and then I just made sure to blend that out um, in the crease just so there wasn't a harsh line. And then I brought the... Um, Hyper color and awesome down onto my waterline as well. So on my brow bone, I took that color epic, um, and then I also put that in my tear duct. But it also it wasn't bright enough, so I took the Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit from Anastasia and put Forever Lit in my tear ducts just to brighten up that inner corner. And then I went in with my Benefit Roller Lash and just put on some mascara. I didn't put any falsies just because I just don't like wearing them anymore. Um, you can certainly use any type of false eyelash you would prefer. Um, I usually just prefer mascara these days. Um, but I also put that on to my bottom lashes as well. So after the mascara, you want to make sure to just dust off any of that powder under your eyes. Um, this just takes off any of the fallout and then also the baking that you put on on your concealer. And then I'm just going ahead and going to spray my Fix Plus um, and just to set my makeup. This is just going to refresh your makeup and just set it for the night and day. And then lastly, for my lips, I took the NYX um, lip pencil in nude and then just lined my lips with this. And then I went in with the Anastasia Liquid Lip in Dusty Rose and applied that. And then the Dusty Rose was a little bit too bright, so then I took this like Paris Hilton liquid lipstick in Nude. It basically looks like a skin tone color. Um, so I applied that over Dusty Rose and it made it like a nice light pink nude color. Um, other than that, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial everyone. Make sure to leave a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe and make sure to hit that thumbs up button. Thank you!